Hello and welcome to another episode of the Rebel Society vlog. Today's topic is about stealing time. Sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? And it's really simple, so I'm excited to share it with you. The reason I came up with this topic is because life has been crazy lately. I moved, I've moved like three or four times in the last two years, which has been like insane in and of itself. I started offering coaching and mentorship services through the Rebel Society, which has been so cool. I am absolutely loving having one-on-one -on -one time with some incredible people. Um, I've been practicing and playing out with my band, the Jack and Steel Band, which has been so rewarding and so cool, but requires a lot of time and energy. And on top of that, I've been traveling for summer and I have been um, doing several charity events and I decided to foster a puppy. And by foster, I mean keep forever because she is so cute, but she is also so much work. I am getting like less sleep than I ever have. It's like having a baby. Um, so needless to say, life has been pretty chaotic. It's been really, really busy. My level of overwhelm got to the point where I was ready to curl up in the fetal position and or take a face plant nap anywhere I could find a level surface. Now, if you know me, you know that this is just not how I operate. I like to come at things whole and happy and focused and ready to go. And I have just been feeling so chaotic and all over the place. So I knew I had to do something to get back to that place of peace that I like to operate out of. Um, the craziness and the chaos of all of this really affected the way that I was thinking and the words that I was using and my reality as a whole. And as you know, in the Rebel Society, what we talk about is how our thoughts affect our words and our, word, our words affect our actions and our actions affect our reality. So I knew that if I needed to kind of calm down what was happening, I needed to start with the way that I was thinking. I realized after thinking about it, I was on autopilot. Now, sometimes when life is crazy busy, we just do that. We move from thing to thing to thing without really thinking about what we're doing, why we're doing it, or where it is leading us. Time increases to a speed where we feel like we're being pulled into a very real vortex of obligations and responsibilities, and I know you know what this feels like. Before we know it, days, weeks, months, years have passed, and we don't remember how we got from there to here. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna live my life like that. I don't want to be on autopilot all the time. I want to experience, I want to feel alive. I want to feel alive. I want to show up for the miracle that is life. Show up for the miracle that is life. When you're busy like so many of us are, time moves at such a speed that it's hard to even know where to begin to slow down to show up for the miracle that is your life. But I have an insider scoop secret for you on how I steal time. I steal time by being present. When you're present in a moment, it's like magic happens. The gears that were working on autopilot all of a sudden switch back into manual mode. Suddenly your senses awaken, colors are brighter, sounds are clearer, tastes are more vibrant, your muscles relax, the pace of your thoughts slow down, your mind and your physical body align, you feel stronger, you feel more like you. You create a space for your heart and your desires to show up. How do you become more present? How do you feel all of these yummy, yummy feelings? There are many ways that you can do this, but here are my personal go-tos. So anytime I'm feeling super, super chaotic, I do one of these five things. First is I take deep, luscious breaths over and over until I feel the anxiety melting away. Focus on the breath and only on the breath. And the great thing about this is you can do it anywhere, whether you're in a cubicle at work or outside or at an event with a bunch of people, you breathe everywhere you go. But focus on the breath, focus on being present. It is a life changer, I promise. 
So simple, but a serious life changer. Water, number two, water. Take a bath or a shower or a swim. When I feel water hit me, an immediate cleansing takes place. I focus on my breath and the sensation of the water on my skin and it is like I am being baptized, just renewed from the inside out. It's amazing. Please, please do it if you're feeling chaotic. Meditation, number three. Even if it's two minutes, put on a soothing song, quiet down, start breathing deeply and allow the space for your body and mind to slow down. You may experience a lot of chaotic thoughts running through your head at first, but picture them like clouds floating across the sky. Acknowledge them, but the, let them pass and allow that peace that comes with the breath, breath <laughs> oops, the peace that comes with the breath to quiet down your heart, to quiet down your mind, to get more into that beautiful space of peace Number four, I take a walk by myself. Allow your mind and your body to function in unison. Your thoughts may be chaotic at first, just like in meditation, but the longer you walk, the clearer your head and the more in sync with your body you will become. And again, this will help you to become more present and to melt away the chaotic feelings that you feel like are surrounding you. You have the choice to be calm and to be present, no matter what kind of chaos is surrounding you. It's your responsibility and you can do it. Last thing, number five, and I have done a blog post on this before, is journaling. Journaling is so incredible. It's the same concept as walking. Your thoughts will probably start like ping pong balls, but do it long enough and consistently enough, and they will start lining up like players in a marching band waiting their turn. Journaling allows space in our minds. It gets rid of all those crazy chaotic thoughts, gets them out of the way and creates space for peace and calm and love and all the good feelings to come in. These techniques I use to steal time and to become more present aren't luxuries, they're necessities. They allow me to check in with my body, with my mind, with my soul and to give myself some space to process what's happening around me. The result is a sense of balance. Even though I can't control the outside world, I can control my inner world. I am the maker of my own happiness. I am the keeper of my desires and dreams. No one else is. Me, I have to be responsible for me, just like you have to be responsible for you. So when things get busy and you're feeling overwhelmed, slow down and steal some time for yourself. Focus on being present and in the moment. You will be a much, much healthier and more vibrant version of yourself for yourself and for the people around you. Was this helpful? Was this topic helpful for you? I wanna create content that hits home, that makes you want to tune in every week and participate. So if you have ideas for topics, if you have questions, leave me a comment, let me know. Also, I recently started offering coaching and mentorship services, which has been such a delight. I love, 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 and am honored to work one-on-one -on -one with you. So if you are interested in aligning the desires of your heart with your life circumstances, shoot me an email and we will get the happiness party started. I will leave a link below. You are amazing. You are unique. You are one of a kind and only you can do what you do the way that you do it. So go out there into this beautiful world and do it because the most powerful thing you can be is yourself. I wish you light. I wish you love. I wish you peace. Until next week.